allihopa. Välkommen till Frågelådan. Welcome to Frågelådan. Uh, my name is Yanga Kaliso and this is Kennedy. This is Kennedy Igwana Nike. Uh, we're going to ask each other five questions and we'll try to be as interesting as we can. Okay, so... Um, um, you want to start? You start asking. Um, I choose right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take okay. on This is like a lottery, you know? Yeah. Maybe you will try to win something. This is in Swedish. Uh, we we'll take it in English. Because yes. yeah. Most beautiful goal you scored or save you made? Oh, the most beautiful goal I scored. Ooh. Um, it has to be... <laughs> Against my melody Sundance. Oh, yes. uh, that's that's like it was two, three years ago. Okay. Yeah. It's been a while, I haven't scored, but how was it? How did you score the goal? Uh, it was a solo run actually from the halfway line. It was a solo run. We have to see the clip though. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Share it. I have it on YouTube actually. Oh on YouTube, okay. Yeah, it's Post it to EF Cola. Yeah. I'm gonna tag tag EF Cola. it. <laughs> My turn. Yes. Okay. Would you rather win Premier League or Champions League? Oh, that is very easy question. I think Champions League. Why Champions League? Because Champions League is uh, one of the best uh, uh, championship in the world, yeah. and the Premier League is like a regular league. You know, Champions League is. It's like a dream control, you know. When you win Champions League, it's like you win everything. You know, league you can just win the league, but it's still it's still okay. But I think I prefer Champions League is better. Okay, all right. Uh, next one. Name an underrated football player who do not get enough recognition. Okay. There's a lot actually. Um, should I explain why? Yeah, why? Um, I think, uh, I don't know if a lot of people know the player, but he's playing for Arsenal at the moment. At the moment? Yeah. Who is, who is uh, the player? He's, he's a French guy, Saint Maximum, the number 10. I don't, I don't. He doesn't get even recognition from the French national team. I think he's one of the the best attackers they have. Mm -hmm. I think he's one of the best I've ever seen. And uh, it has to be also Eberechi Eze, the boy at Crystal Palace. Mm. The Nigerian boy. Who was his name? Eberechi Eze. Uh huh, Eberechi Eze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. He's, uh, yeah. he's a phenomenal player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's underrated. He's, uh, yeah, I think so. I think he's underrated. Like, most, most of the his age group players are being called up into the national team and I don't see why they're not bringing him in also. Mm. I think he deserves because he's constant, he's consistent mm. in, in Crystal Palace when it comes to starting lineup and game time. You know, scored a couple of goals, so I think he's underrated. I think he's underrated. Okay, how would you describe yourself as a football player? Oh, how would I describe myself as a football player? I think, uh, uh, oh. <laughs> as a football player, I think uh, I would describe myself as a football player by, you know, showing good example to. It's a very tricky question. To others and, uh, you know, living up to expectation, yeah. on and off the pitch and uh also like you know because what you do represent who you are you know in the field and of the field so i think being a football player like the question i mean this it's what, very tricky I think it's very tricky and whatever we do is like you know we live our life for the people as well so far we're still playing football you know yeah i think uh, you're right with so. So we to have be a to, true professional. yeah, to be a true professional football player. I mean, you don't just go out to like 
uh, I'm a football player and uh, you know you do whatever you want because you know everybody look up to you you understand because you still have the young kids you know around they want to be like you in future and they want to get to your dream and get to where you are so you have to live up to expectation as a professional football player so they can learn from you so okay that is my answer to that mm. favorite color on your football shoes favorite color it has to be black all black why black black is like referees they're like referees they have all black shoes yeah. or the linesman they like they raise the flag up like i'm very i'm very old school <laughs> i'm an old school guy <laughs> old school you look like a referee when you have the when you have the black shoes sorry to cut you off like in my team when I was in AIK, like we have a player, a striker, he always put on like black shoes and everything black, you know, when, and he's, he's African. So whenever he get into the pitch, and we have like black color as well, so everything is like black, black, black. Yeah. And so whenever he came into, we call him, hey, linesman, <laughs> <laughs> or referee. So, yeah, I don't know, but. No, I'm a very old school guy, so uh, black, it has to be black. Mm. I go with black, everything black. All right. My hat is black. <laughs> <laughs> Think of it now. Uh, which are your strengths on the pitch? My strength on the pitch. Oof. My strength on the pitch is uh, my speed, and uh, also my mental is one of my strength on the field because I'm a kind of player like I never give up, no matter what you know, because. I always tell myself like it's not over until it's over. So I think my strength in the field is my speed, my mental as well too. Because sometimes in the game, you know, you can be frustrated, yeah. but you don't have to let that get into your head. Because if that get into your head, then you are gone. So you have to put that as your strength as well too, so you don't get weak. No weakness, remember. Yeah. Mentality is very important. No. <laughs> Let me take another one question for you. This is the fourth one. Uh, if you should play a music instrument, what will it be? We have to be fancy with this one. You have to be what? Well, I, at school, at school, I played the flute and the violin. Oh. I played the flute and the violin. But uh i wasn't really enjoying it i used to admire people that play piano mm. you know because they always have a melody and everything so i would play piano mm. okay your favorite place on ola oh my favorite place on ola <laughs> you don't even have money here, right? I don't know because I'm very new here and uh, I wish to know more places because I haven't really moved around in this island and uh, I wish someday maybe some of the players or anyone like you know can show me good places on this island to, to like eat some good food or walk around but uh, if you ask me I think I really like you know the the water side you know where they have the ferry and the boat so i think uh, during the summer it, maybe it can be like a place to take a walk and you know relax and have a good time i think but for now i don't really know because i'm quite new in the city how about the dressing room the dressing room <laughs> should be it should be should be <laughs> okay this is the last one your most memorable game so far? Most memorable game? Yes. Oh, there's a lot actually. But... Has to be against um, Mbombela United. I have to give it to the game. Okay, then what happened? What happened to the game? Why is uh, it the memory? Oh, because I just got back from... Uh, Injury, toe okay. injury. I broke my toe and 
the coach called me the, the night before. You know, I was supposed to start on the bench, but he called me and said, no, tomorrow he's changed his plans and you will be starting behind the striker. And I was, you know, doing my thing. So it has to be that game. What happened during the game? No, I just had a great game. I was untouchable. Oh. I was phenomenal, hey? I was, oh. Okay. I was there. I was there. Okay. It has to be the game. All right. Last question, right? Yes. You want to take the, the difficult one? <laughs> Who is the all-time best footballer in the world for you? Oh, it's always like... It's my idol, you know, Ronaldo de Lima, for me. Ooh, Brazilian. The Brazilian is, is well, for me, is one of the best ever. And for me, no one can compare, you know. A lot of people say Pelé, Maradona and stuff, but I know they're good players, but I still prefer Ronaldo, the phenomenon, you know. I think I'm too young to know those kind of things. <laughs> I think Ronaldo, Ronaldo. If you watch him, then you know what I'm talking about. He's, you know, without the injuries, you know, I don't think nobody can get to him at all. But he's. And your African best player? My African best player of all time is uh, Samuel Eto'o. Okay. okay. Samuel Eto'o is. I thought you were going to go with uh, JJ Okocha. No. <laughs> Okocha is good, he's skillful, but Samuel Eto'o. Eto'o is. Yeah, is everything. Yes. Okay. Um, thank you for watching. Oh, one more question. What is your favorite meal? My favorite meal. <laughs> My favorite meal is rice. Just and rice. Rice and stew, like rice and sauce. You know, like uh, rice sauce, and also I love also African food. Okay. Uh, fufu, you know, I don't know if you know about fufu, then you know about fufu, you know, it's African thing, you know, fufu, you eat fufu, you get stronger. That's why Africans, we are like, you know, power, strong. <laughs> so, I have no idea what fufu actually. You don't know what fufu is? Uh, I always hear people talk about it. But the I, people talk I, about I fufu. Never. Uh, like, don't worry, one day I will make fufu, you come eat yeah. at my home, then you know what it is. When you eat it, you become stronger, you can. You know, you hit everybody and they fall down. Uh, or you become I even to, faster. I need to taste that. So it's good. How about you? What's your favorite, uh, what's your favorite uh, food? I'm more of an Italian guy, so I'll go with pasta. Mm. Yeah. What I'm kind of pasta? Uh, could be chicken pasta. Could be bolognese, something like that. Bolognese, depends. Uh -huh, okay. Depends, depends on what's in the refrigerator. So... <laughs> Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Okay. So, thank you for watching. Frogaladan. My Swedish is very bad, but <laughs> see you soon. And hopefully, we get to see you guys at the arena supporting us. And yeah, we, we promise to make you guys proud this season. The team is looking great, looking sharp. New faces, very interesting players. So, Please come through, support us, and we'll make you guys proud. Yeah, I also say the same thing. Uh, he all he already said it all. Like I said, uh, thank you very much for everything, and uh, we are very happy, and I am very happy to be here as well. And uh, we are looking forward to make you guys proud, like he said. So uh, when the season starts. And I think you can count on us. You just, you know, you people can count on the players because the players we have now is, you know, we're ready. We're ready to go and to make you guys proud. Thank you very much. We appreciate it.